Hi, it's Tim and Annis again. Welcome Hi. back to the channel. We are um, celebrating the Labor Day weekend. We decided to go to a local state park here in Delaware, USA. It's called Killens Pond State Park. So we're all, right now we're on some wooded trails. Um, one of the big features of this state park, well, number one, it's three miles from our home, which makes it convenient, but it has a, a huge pond for, for fishing and kayaking, but it also has a big water park on the pond. So we're gonna just kind of take a walk and um, enjoy the day and maybe show you some scenery from, from the actual park and the, the waterways and some of the wooded area and maybe do a flyover on the, the um, water park, give you an idea what that looks like. So uh, hope you enjoy the, the scenes from today's activities. Okay, here we are again. We're down by the Killens um, Pond, right by the pond's edge. So let me just turn the camera around and we'll show you a little bit of the, the edge of the water here. You can see people with kayaks. Um, this water is really, it's not that clear. I know it's not like down in the Caribbean and St. Vincent where you have crystal clear water and you know you can see the all the different shades of blue. This, this is a less active, it doesn't have a lot of water flow in this pond. I mean, it, it is um, stream fed, but you can see that it's not like an active water stream. So it tends to get a little murky. You get a lot of lily pads and a, lo a lot of um, vegetation around the pond, but you can see people have, if I show you the video here, you can see people have paddle boats, kayaks, and they also fish. If you, you look straight ahead there, you can see a fishing dock on the other side of the pond. So it's really meant for all kinds of different types of recreation. But um, it's the end of summer here, so people are trying to get in the last little bit of um, recreation, summertime recreation, before the weather starts to turn. I imagine in probably another couple weeks, these leaves that are all green right now will start to turn all the different fall colors. Um, but yeah, so far everything's green. So, yep. But that's... um quick little pond side view of um, Killen's Pond.
These trails seem to be pretty nice. They're pretty well maintained. Not a lot of fallen trees and stuff overhanging in your face, which is nice. And the other good thing about it is they have a lot of markings here to let you know where you are along the trails. Plus they give you a map. So you can cross-reference where you are. Get back to your car. I think we'll go this way. This, this way goes... The, no, it's not the way. It's not the way the, to the car, but I figured we'd go a little far further along the um, the length length of the pond. See what's down this trail. I've never been down this trail before. It's kind of quiet here today for a Labor Day Monday for a holiday. Yeah, and some people are down the beach. We're not too far from the beach, so a lot of people are getting in their last big beach weekend before school starts. This would be nice for a house. Absolutely. So this is a, a little facility here. I guess it's like a little this rest area, visitor rest center, area. rest area. This is by the boat rental. This is on the one far side of the um, pond where you, if you go right down there, you can't see it because there's too much trees and everything's green. But you can get a glimpse. And they got some nice different um, sitting areas down there, but you get a nice um, image of some of the boats between the trees there on the, on the pond. Um, so yeah, I've never been to this visitor center. It's kind of cool. They got lots of seating, restrooms, and um, some trails up front here that looks like they have a map. We'll take you over. Let's walk over to the map area real quick. So yeah, let's, let's walk over here and take a look at the map. Trails here. Here is a map of the overall park. You can see we are right at the nature center right here. That's where we are, number five. Um, and we're parked right over here by number one by that central parking lot. So we haven't even really touched on most of the park. We just kind of walked a, maybe a, a third of the, the, the trail section. We didn't go around. You can go all the way around. And we're, we're right here. We've only gone from maybe this this much so far. At some point it'd be nice to do a video all the way around. All right, now we're down here at the boat rental facility down here. You can see some kayaks. We're gonna take a real quick walk down the dock here just to show you a little bit more of the pond. These are the paddle boats I was telling you about. Looks like they hold about four people. You can paddle these around the pond. Ran them for probably an hour. I don't know how much it is. I'll have to look at the cost. Probably not all that expensive. It'd be nice if they had an umbrella or a little roof on them because I imagine it can get kind of hot out here in the middle of the summer sun. There's Annis. She's not walking all the way out. I guess she's afraid that the dock's going to fall in on her and she's going to have to swim swim back. What's that? It's like, it's not no, it's not. I was just being funny. It's not going to fall apart. It has flotation underneath each one of the, the finger piers, see? It's not going anywhere. It's designed to go up and down with the level of the pond so that, that it's always just above the water. See that? See it floats? See, see the, the black flotation devices underneath each, each one yeah, of these? This, this pond is ugly. It's, it doesn't have the most clear water because, like I told you, it's, it it's, doesn't, green. it's green, right. And I, I don't know, I've never seen it any other color, to be honest with you. And it's pretty good size. You can see all the boats out there. Over there is a, a new bridge. They built that bridge right where the pond drains into a little creek, but that's a walking fishing bridge that goes across the little perimeter edge of the pond. 
You wouldn't eat any fish from the pond? No. Oh my gosh, that's because you're spoiled with saltwater Caribbean fish right Real right fish. off the boat, right Real into fish. the fish market. Real fish in water. Oh my gosh. Well, you're not going to get that here. You're going to get scum sucking bass from the murky waters of Delaware. And you call me spoiled? Why should I eat scum sucking bass? <laughs> Straight ahead, right past the, the map and down the trail. All right, so we're gonna do the, we're gonna close out this video by just walking down this little, they actually just built this bridge a couple years ago. It's a nice addition because otherwise it would have been just a side of the road thing. But um, it's pretty nice. Take a look at this and see what the what's in this pond. What's the catch? You got largemouth bass, common carp, black crappie, brown bullhead, bluegills, white perch, and um, shad, carp. That's what's in here. More than 20 species of lice, live fish. Some are commonly caught below. <laughs> We're about halfway down the bridge area here. You can see there's little little decks that they built for the fishing little umbrellas, which is kind of cool. Okay, we wanted to show you one more thing before we left the park here. This is the um, Killens Pond, what they call the water park. You can see you have some, some couple nice water slides and you got a couple different pools and little water features and smaller slides for smaller kids. But this is a cool little park. It's, you know, not that expensive for maybe five, five dollars. You can come and take your family here and on a hot summer day, you can enjoy a lot of the cool water here. Those slides, you know, I took the kids here, my kids, probably 20, 25 years ago. This has been here since the early 90s. I don't know if they've done much improvement to it, but they have some showers and some change rooms and bathrooms over there. But it's a nice little part of the state park once you're already on the park. You can see, I don't know if you noticed the splash when they go down the fast ones there, the yellow and green, and they come out of the, the bottom of the park, or the bottom of the slide, and it goes into a nice, nice um, three foot pool. I'm not really in a good position to show you that now because I'm not on the other side. But anyway, there is the water park at Pillins Pond State Park. Okay, so I think that's going to be the, the end of today's uh, adventures and hiking. So I hope you really enjoyed seeing a little little snippet of Delaware State Parks here in the U.S. Um, we hope, we're hoping, right, to, to get back down to St. Vincent by yeah, we'll end see. of the year. Um, and, see and what happens. When we get down, we have a whole trip planned of different different videos and adventures down there. We hope to bring some family down and do a little bit more elaborate um traveling and, and exploring once we get down so until next time we will see you later bye-bye <laughs>